This tutorial is going to go through the new teacher interface with the SmartTable 3.1 software that was released September 2013. So I'm going to go from my student lesson to the teacher mode by plugging in my USB stick. That's going to switch me over to the teacher mode. I'm going to focus on taking a look at the activity packs and how there's a new way that we can organize those. So I'm going to launch the activity packs with the icon in the middle. Here you can see that there's two folders I've already created, grade one and grade two. And I'm going to create a new folder using the new interface. So I tap new folder at the top left hand side and a new folder is automatically generated. The bottom left hand side I have an open delete and rename function. If I click rename, my on-screen keyboard pops up and I can label this something new. This is where it's useful if you're sharing a table, then you have the ability to organize your table content as you choose based on those who you're sharing with. So grade one, grade two, grade three, or you could organize by teacher. So there's lots of options here which we haven't had before, which is really awesome. So now I can call this my folder and table content that I want to have accessible to my students could go into that folder. To put table content into the folder, what we're going to do is we're going to drag content from the main menu. So I'm going to take this days of the week lesson. I'm going to drag it over to the clipboard. Then I'm also going to drag over the alphabet lesson. Let's say I wanted those to go into the Mishakulin folder. I'm going to highlight that folder and click open. And now I'm going to take the days of the week lesson and drag and drop it into my folder and the alphabet lesson and drag it, drop it into that folder. I do like to say to move with intent, you do really need to make a decision that you're moving things from the main menu over to the clipboard and then back in. To go back to the opening menu, I just hit up a level at the top left hand side and I go to my, op my opening main screen. If I wanted multiple copies of a lesson to go into numerous folders, I need to create multiple copies off of my USB drive. So this is if you've downloaded content from the Smart Exchange or you've created content, put it onto your USB stick and then you can open it up multiple times and create multiple copies. So I'm going to highlight this alphabet lesson and I'm going to click the open button and I'm going to click OK. I'm now going to open it a second time. I'm going to click alphabet, open it one more time, and click OK. I'm going to come back and hit the table content option at the top left hand side. And now I can see that I've got another copy of alphabet here and another copy of alphabet over here. So if I open up my grade one folder, I can see they have a copy of alphabet already. If I open up the grade two folder, so do they. If I open up the grade three folder, they don't have content yet. So I'm going to take this alphabet lesson and drag and drop it onto the clipboard. And now I'm going to highlight the grade three folder and click open. And now drag and drop the alphabet lesson out of the clipboard to go into the grade three folder. You can even create multiple folders inside folders. So within this grade three folder, I could create, for instance, a language arts folder if I chose. And this is a way that each teacher can help stay organized. So I can drag and drop that alphabet lesson right into the LA folder right there. And I go up a level to come back to my main menu. So this is how we can organize our content uh, with the new table software, which is really exciting. I'm going to open up this alphabet lesson and I just have to unplug my USB stick to go back to the student menu when I'm all done organizing.